Joseph Toland, and an ex-aircraft engineer, and I've brought tidal lagoons into the 21st century by making the wall design long and curved, and this enables us to speed the flow around the wall of the lagoon, and this can drive thousands of Venturo pumps, enabling it to pump twice as much water through the lagoon per time. The second picture shows the sort of solar arrays that are capable of being put into a lagoon, and this means we can have power not only from the moon for the tide, but for, from the sun, for solar, for the hydrogen gas and for the oxygen gas where we can split fresh water cheaply in Somerset. This means altogether we can change a lagoon that could have been just supporting two million homes to a lagoon that can now with the gas plants and the double power of the lagoon up to 12 million ohms and by increasing the number it also dramatically reduces the cost of the project and the cost of the energy for the future.